We are literally 650 meters above sea level. I'm not sure. Oh, we might get blown off in a minute. Super friendly students here doing some good work. Bye, guys. Bye. Welcome to Singapore. Welcome to the Lion City, Singapore. For a population of 5.64 million, where the sights are stunning, the food is divine and the culture is rich. In this video, we're taking you on a journey through Singapore's vibrant streets, iconic landmarks and hidden gems. Get ready to feast your eyes on the glittering cityscape, indulge in mouth-watering local cuisine and immerse yourself in the dynamic blend of East and West. From the bustling markets to the tranquil gardens, we've got it all covered, so sit back, relax and join us as we explore the magic of Singapore. Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode here. Do this. So sorry, we don't know how to use this. We just press the card, credit card. Yeah? Alright, guys, we are now finally on this bus, and actually, a very different way to how we usually travel because typically we'd be taking grabs or you know, just your general taxis. But in Singapore, our hotel basically told us to just get this bus, which is downstairs from our hotel, and it goes directly to where we're heading to first which is Marina Bay Sands. So. I haven't taken public transport in about 10 years. Yes. <laughs> so this is really exciting and you can actually tap your credit card to pay for your bus fare. Yeah, very, very easy. You just literally come on and put your credit card on top and it costs uh, about $3, 3 US dollars from Orchard Road, which is where our hotel is, all the way to Marina Bay Sands, which is about a 20 minute bus journey. So not too bad. If we wanted to take a taxi there, it would have actually cost us three times the amount. So about almost $10. So we've saved quite a bit by getting the bus on this journey. So we have just made it outside Marina Bay Sands and feeling like a proper tourist. We don't know where we're going, but that's the exciting thing. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful guys. We are literally standing outside Marina Bay Sands. We are in Singapore, you guys. Check that out, it's so tall. Anyway, so we're just gonna walk through now because we wanna get through to the avenue area where there's the famous Apple store and basically get a good view of the whole Marina Bay Sands area because apparently there's loads of shops and things to explore once we're inside. So we're literally just heading in now. Oh, whoops. Got some futuristic doors. Oh, tricky opening. I was not <laughs> expecting that. Here we are. I've watched YouTube videos about this place when people walk inside and people have um, said how it smells. It definitely smells expensive. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, it smells expensive, lovely, beautiful. Oh, just fresh. It's like got this floral, woody kind of smell to it. And honestly, it is very, very impressive. Look at this place. Architecture is absolutely gorgeous. I'll tell you a little bit more about the building once we go outside so you can see a good view of everything. But just being inside is quite surreal. Sorry, Dubai, but I think at this rate, uh, Singapore is beating you yeah. by a point. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, well, still got a lot more exploring to go, but best place to uh, compare it to is Dubai because we lived there for quite a few years. So now this is probably one of the best comparisons around the world. Guys, and this is probably one of the most busiest check-in areas I've ever seen. You can see behind me here, there's literally hundreds of people waiting to check in. One of the most expensive hotels around the world and it looks like people don't have an issue spending the money here because I've heard and I've double checked actually it's about thousand dollars per night to stay here. I, I'm not sure I think so maybe even more. Well I'll uh, put a booking.com uh, link just up here just so we can see how much it is but well, we've got quite a few people checking in. So we just found a uh, local guy he saw we were uh, scrambling around looking <laughs> where to go and how to find this area and he just was very kindly helped us. Basically, we need to go to the other side of the Marina Bay Sands buildings, and apparently that's where all the walkway is and the place we're heading to next. All 
right, so we are now on the other side of Marina Bay Sands, which is actually the shopping mall. So it's got kind of your high-end type of uh, shops, such as your high-end brands for watches, like Frank Muller, just over there. We've got Brent Lynn, we've got like Gucci over there. We've even got a little Venice in here. See that boat down there literally runs through the whole shopping mall, so from one side all the way to the other. Where could we best compare Singapore so far, our first impression? It's quite hard. I mean, it's like Dubai on steroids for me, to be honest. It's that cleanliness and the chicness and the luxury. Mm. I would um, say it's a little bit more organized than Dubai. Yeah. I feel like Dubai is just everything in one, thrown in one place. Whereas here is definitely sporadic. And more organized more, organized. And more, more livable, you know, because Dubai is a constant construction site, if you like. But here it's more, um, you know, walkable and livable. <laughs> yeah. We finally made it to our marina area. Wow, very, very impressive, guys. The temperature is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised just how breathable it is. I heard that Singapore was very humid, and maybe it is, but today we're very lucky to have a really nice airy day. Yeah, but at the same time, always carry an umbrella with you because you never know when it might rain. Because a minute ago it was raining, you see the floor's like wet, but now it's just perfect. We're just gonna have a nice little walk across this marina side here because it is a lovely kind of spot just across the water where you can see the full skyline of Singapore's. I believe that's the business district over there. And we've also got the world's first Apple store which is floating on water. Kind of mix of Hollywood style palm trees with the beautiful city skyline. It's like a mix of everything all in one place. And then you've got a marina there, it's just gorgeous. And if you also wanted to do some luxury shopping as well, they even have a floating Louis Vuitton shop. You want a Louis Vuitton bag, love? No. No? <laughs> that saves me a lot of money. And as you walk along this whole Marina Bay Sands area, there's so many kind of like bars and restaurants along the way. I'm assuming around the evening time, it's definitely gonna get a little bit more lively because now it's roughly around lunchtime and it is getting quite hot. And I wasn't expecting it to get this hot, but I'm, I'm roasting. I'm my yeah. words back, guys. <laughs> yeah, literally we are roasting now. It's a roastery. Yeah. And guys, we are now walking across, which is this beautiful helix bridge, which actually connect, connects you from the Marina Bay sand side all the way to the other side of the marina where you can get like a really nice view. So just a beautiful place for you just to come for a nice walk, a nice stroll. And another thing that I will say, because it's actually so hot, this bridge specifically is actually super cool because you've got all these kind of very interesting ways on how they're blocking the sun from this bridge. So lovely place just to walk and enjoy a nice stroll. Yeah, and people come here for their run. So if you're into sports, this is just the perfect place for your morning or evening run. Yeah, very impressed to be honest guys so far with what we've seen here in Singapore. And one thing I'll say, you can probably eat off the floor because it is so clean. And I heard that people said that Singapore was super clean before coming here, but it's... It's sterile. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> like you're not going to see anything on the floor. You know when they say you spoke too soon? about the cleansiness there we go <laughs> we got some there and surprisingly all the way over here as well like that's crazy didn't expect to see that ah so not 100% uh, not 100% what I thought it would be in terms of cleansiness but still very very clean Guys, here we are with a perfect view of Marina Bay Sands, the building that cost 5.6 billion US dollars to make. And it's just absolutely incredible when you look at it. So many different countries have tried to kind of emulate what it looks like, but I think now being here and seeing it in person, it is definitely super unique. And I would say it looks best here in Singapore. Another interesting fact about this project or hotel is that it actually generates about 1% of the total country's GDP, so it's pretty astounding. As you walk over to the other side, you've got this beautiful, uh, actually a very, very important part of Singapore, which is kind of this lion and fish. And it's basically very famous because... The merlion is a mythical creature with a lion's head 
and the body of a fish that is widely used as a mascot and national resemblance of Singapore. And then also on the other side you've got some restaurants to freshen up, especially when it's super hot like it is today. You definitely want to get like a fresh juice or something around this area just to kind of refreshen yourself. I'm uh, taking my words back. <laughs> very surprised because earlier it was like raining and stuff. It but was really like nice and chilly yeah. but it switched up very quickly. Yeah. Alright, let's find somewhere we can get some refreshments. We are coming to the one and only Starbucks to get some refreshments. Something like a frappuccino will be perfect. Alright, so we've got some frappuccinos to cool us down. Came to Starbucks because we thought it's going to be the most reasonably um, priced. Because as some of you will find out by the end of this video, by the end of the series here in Singapore, is how expensive this place can get. So one thing we love about Starbucks, anywhere we've kind of gone around the world, is typically around the same price. So we got for two frappuccinos, I got like a premium pistachio one. They've got a chocolate one, and came to sixteen point sixty Singaporean dollars, which is ten British pounds. So roughly about thirteen US dollars. So about the same price anywhere around the world. So now we're walking through the other side of the uh, Marina Bay Sands and as you can see it's creeping up just over there. We're now actually going to head all the way upstairs to Marina Bay Sands and take you over to the famous observation deck. One thing that I found super awesome here is that you can even rent an umbrella. Check that out. You just literally like download this application called Nestia and you can literally just download it and rent it from there. I like that. We are back in Marina Bay Sands. That beautiful smell is back. Oh, I can literally just sniff that all day long. It's so fresh. So we actually came back inside because we're now going to head up to the observation deck which for your information guys is actually on tower three because there's three towers here, one, two and three and we're just heading over there right now. I'm not a big fan of height guys, if you know, uh, I've been watching my vlogs throughout all the countries that we go to, you will know I'm not the biggest fan of heights. However, we are about to go 650 meters above sea level at the top of the observation deck. Good, how are you? Good. We right, have you? tickets already online. You already have a ticket? Yeah. Perfect, awesome. Which That's way do we go? One. Come on in, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, first of all, stand in line and stand by your tickets, yeah? Always nice to get a friendly welcome by the locals. Yeah. Let's do this. So guys, once we get to the top of this observation deck, we'll tell you a little bit about how we got our tickets, how much it is, so you guys also know the process of how to book this for yourself. As you come in, guys, they also take a welcome photo of you here. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but let's find out. See how that turns out later. We're getting excited now. We'll get pictures taken of us. We got like treated nicely. Fantastic service. Yeah, great service, guys. Very, very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, we are in the lift and we're going to be going all the way up to the 56th floor. Kind of raining and just like that our hairs are messed up everything is crazy <laughs> but the rain has stopped the rain has stopped yeah. guys happy days wow look at the view of this place it's absolutely absolutely incredible guys. yeah it's stunning i mean one thing is to be down there and walk around but another is to be on top of everything and just get a 360 view of the whole city it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous top of the viewing deck you can also see the bay gardens which is literally just down there wow stunning we'll be we'll be heading there shortly as well so you can see it from down below but it's gorgeous just to be able to stand up here and have this beautiful view of it from down there so stunning so guys if you're probably coming to singapore and you're wondering how is the best way to book all of these activities that we're doing today? We actually used a company called Get Your Guide, which have been super efficient in terms of booking everything, organizing our trip, and I'll let Dace explain a little bit more of what it is and how they work. Guys, if you don't 
don't know, get your guide. Check them out um, online. Uh, it's really, truly an amazing platform. We've literally used them to plan our whole trip here in Singapore and booked all our tickets through them. I mean, the activities they offer is incredible. You can pick and choose um, what's to your taste. Um, and I just love the way their app works because they just send you the tickets immediately to your app and you have it nicely organized by date. So you kind of know what you're doing each, each day. And uh, my favorite thing about it is that they are one of the rare agencies actually that allow you to cancel your activities in case something happens. Uh, not many agencies do that, uh, but I like the fact that I can plan it all out, book my tickets to make sure you know we've got our spots because Singapore is so busy. Uh, but then if something happens, you can cancel it up to 24 hours in advance and you get your full money back. So it's really good. And if you're wondering how to access the website to book it for yourself, just go in the description box below. I've linked their direct website where you can actually book all the experiences that you see in this video, especially this insane one here. We are literally 650 meters above sea level. And you know what? Usually I'm quite scared of heights, but something about this deck here is so big. You don't actually feel like you're as high as you are until you literally walk all the way to the end here and then you look down and then it all goes uh, a bit hairy <laughs> enjoying it so far oh it's lovely and guys one thing i will say the weather here is quite temperamental so don't let the rain put you off doing stuff it literally rained for one minute and look at that now it's all beautiful yeah. and sunny so we can even go upstairs on this observation deck let's see where this takes us seems like there is a restaurant up here as well i'm not sure oh we might get blown off in a minute Bloody hell, that is some serious wind going on. Ah, so there's like a bar up here, but it seems like it's closed today. I've been to a lot of observation decks around the world, such as like your Burj Khalifa on top of Shard in London. But there's something really different about this one because it's so big. You can literally easily spend a good half an hour up here just kind of enjoying the views, taking it all in. You can literally see all the important areas of Singapore and it is just stunning. Look at that. Yeah, you should definitely guys try and do it because number one, you'll get to see the most famous hotel in Singapore, which is Marina Bay Sands. And then, you know, you get to see the whole city from above and you can chill out here, take a lot of Instagram worthy pictures, just exactly. relax and take the city in for what it is. It's really cool. Guys, so we're now officially done from there, but wow, we were literally standing on the edge up there. Just there. We were on hanging. The tip. Yeah. <laughs> crazy when you think about it. This is really crazy, guys. Yeah. Well, after finishing from that observation deck, it's definitely nice to get some rest over at this little park. And overall, I actually really enjoyed it because one of the best ways to see a city is definitely from above. Doesn't matter if you're in like Dubai, Singapore, New York. All of these type of big, big countries and cities have incredible skylines. So being 650 meters above sea level was absolutely incredible. Even though it's a little bit windy, it was so worth it. I enjoyed it too. It was a really great break from walking around the city. And I just love the views. They're absolutely stunning. Singapore is just so aesthetically pretty, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. And now, as you can see, we are over in the park area because we are going to head over to the famous Marina Bay gardens the marina bay gardens so this is why we actually booked everything with get your guide is because they actually organize things perfectly because once you finish from the observation deck the next spot that they recommend is marina bay gardens and it, the reason for that is literally only a 10 minute walk and it's just logistically perfectly situated just having a little bit of a rest because it's so hot outside We're and tired. yeah super <laughs> tired but we're just going to give you some guys a little bit of advice actually on how to plan all your trip with get your guide because it has helped us so much i absolutely love it because i'm a freak who loves organized trips and everything planned and in good order and i love how it displays all the activities you're about to do so you just go on your app and if you press bookings you will see that i've got all my activities nicely here lined out by the dates so every day when i wake up i know exactly you know where we're going and what we're doing we've already done the observation deck and you know immediately as you book it the tickets are already within the app so you just click on here and you go in and they scan your ticket it's so easy you have your tickets just literally within the app it's just beautiful <laughs> she's a proper organized uh, organized freak yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway i think we've had our rest Let's take you over to Gardens by the Bay. So 
guys, when you are coming over to this beautiful gardens by the bay, look out for the Dragonfly Bridge because we've been walking kind of aimlessly for the last half an hour trying to find how to get into this place because um, there is like another garden which is right next to it but yeah look out for the dragonfly bridge maybe put that into your google maps because it'll bring you onto this bridge here which leads directly into the gardens by the bay guys this bridge alone that you walk across to get to the gardens by the bay is just so gorgeous you can literally just spend five ten minutes literally just on the bridge enjoying the gorgeous view you've got marina bay sands behind you you have the gorgeous gardens to your left and also this amazing little kind of like river that just runs across the whole the whole thing so nice all right guys we finally made it to our next stop here in the gardens which is called floral fantasy Apparently it's stunning inside, so we can't wait to go inside and show you guys. Hello, Sean. Hi, hello. How are you? Nice Thank to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. Wow, it's a bit of a walk to get here, so really looking forward to seeing what is actually going to be inside. Wow, guys, this was definitely worth the wait. It smells super floral so so gorgeous inside just so many different color flowers and it's so cold in here nice ac up after being so hot outside what do you think stunning right it's literally a floral fantasy it does what it says on the tin it's just like a fairy tale gorgeous let's have a little sniff mm, smells uh, very very floral there's a lot of detail in this place definitely instagram worthy as well i'm going to show you some shots I'll be honest guys, usually I don't do too much of flower gardens. I've been to a few around the world and one over in Dubai actually, but honestly, for some reason it doesn't compare to this one. There's something super, very, very natural about this place and very peaceful and what I love is literally in the heart of the city. So when you're like in the hustle and bustle out there, you can easily just come in here for like one hour of your day and just literally really enjoy and take in all of these beautiful smells and relaxation. They got this like spa music in the background, which is just super, super relaxing. It's exactly what we needed after a day of exploration. Look at this, they've even got like an indoor waterfall. This place is stunning. They put so much thought into it. So gorgeous. And that's my umbrella company. Well, guys, that was honestly a fascinating experience. Beautiful. Probably, yeah, probably one of the highlights of our day. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 100% loved it. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I am super, super tired after all these experiences. But one thing I have to say, if you do want to book um, that floral garden for yourself, just check the description below because I've linked it from Get Your Guide. You'll be able to book directly with them and it's super easy and efficient. Anyway, guys, we're now gonna head back up to the one and only Marina Bay Sands. And we're going to finish off by hopefully finding like a really nice rooftop bar and probably just like have a coffee, a drink, cup of tea, just basically something to end the day perfectly. And guys, if you've got any questions about any part of the video or any of the experiences that we've done up until now, just leave it in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to answer them. But anyway, let's get going. Guys, we're back in the mall now because we need to walk through here to go to the next spot to have some dinner. But I'm just so actually astounded by this view of this mall. I mean, I've been to so many malls around the world, but for some reason, something about the one here in Marina Bay Sands is just has such a nice vibe and it's super relaxing. They've got like a gorgeous little coffee shop just in the middle, with all the like nice shops around. If you don't want to obviously come here and buy anything, that's fine. But you can literally just come and have a walk in it because it's so nice and relaxing. Or even just come and have a coffee. And guys, one thing I have to say since being walking around Singapore so far, I feel really, really safe. And Singapore is actually one of the most safest countries in the world. I believe it was actually voted the safest country. And you really do feel it whilst you're walking around because literally there's not a single security guard in sight. And usually when that is the case, it means the country or wherever you are is safe. And it does feel nice to just walk around and not have to worry about anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course you still should be mindful of things but overall it's extremely safe and relaxing and I find all the people here very respectful and yeah. who you speak to in the restaurants, hotels, 
um, the service is very good here. Yeah, definitely. very respectful. I yeah. like that. Walking through the mall, we've got the students here from Katun Convoy School. Hi, uh, Katun Convoy, it's a UJRD. And what are you guys doing today? Um, we're doing a survey for a geography project. So we're interviewing tourists and what they think of Singapore and the environment and the business, whether it's lovely for them. Fantastic. Super friendly students here doing some good work. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. All right, see you later. <laughs> Usually I don't stop to do these surveys, but because I saw there were young students, I had to give them the time because, you know, they're also developing and learning about life. Guys, we've made it to Tower 2, which is going to take us all the way up to 55th floor. And then we have to change to go to 57th. Excited? Yeah. Spargo is where Wolfgang Puck uh, cooks some dishes sometimes. He's a very famous chef, so... We might see him here. Alright guys, so we finally made it over to Spargo and it seems like it's quite a nice vibe in this place. Very, very nice, very classy and right opposite the beautiful pool on Marina Bay Sands. I definitely love the vibe of it. Hi, how are you? Are you alright? Vibes here, vibes. Guys, this is a great way to finish off your day here in Singapore. Come up to one of the nice rooftop lounges in Marina Bay Sands. We picked this one specifically because it literally has a beautiful view of the skyline of Singapore. It's absolutely gorgeous just back there. And obviously the menu by Wolfgang Park. We absolutely love him. Wolfgang, if you're watching, I'm your big fan on MasterChef and Gordon yeah. Ramsay show. So we are looking forward to try your famous burgers and foods. Well, it's been a long day, guys, and I'm not going to lie, I'm very, very hungry. And I'm looking forward to seeing what nice food we can get in this restaurant. We've just got some little bites. We've got these two nice looking beef sliders. There's one over there as well. Only having something little here because we're going to have a big dinner later tonight. Let's give this a little taste. It's good. You can probably munch this in one bite. Easy. Delicious. You guys are looking at mm. yeah, absolutely delicious, guys. So good. And for the next dish, we have got some Japanese styled fried chicken. Some nice sauce in there. Aioli sauce. Aioli sauce. Let's give that a taste. Wow. That was delicious. Not usually a fan of fried chicken, but this is so, so good. It tastes delicious. I don't know how they've made it taste that good, but Mr. Wolfgang, the chef, great job. <laughs> Cheers, Wolfgang. <laughs> As we know, Singapore is also a great place to come out and have some drinks, just like this awesome bar that they've got here. Well, I think for us, we are ready to probably finish our evening now. Or shall I say late afternoon, because it's been a super, super long day, and I think a great place to finish our video today. And guys, once again, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And also, just a little note, if you want to book any of the experiences that we went on to today, check out Get Your Guide in all the description below. I've got all the links to them where you can book directly. And if you have any questions about the experiences, feel free just to ask away in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. See you on the next video, guys, and thank you for watching. Peace out.